Did you ever use testosterone, uh, cortisone, or human growth hormone? Yes. And more front So today we are uh, training with Lance Armstrong. It's pretty crazy. He is uh, a Texan through and through, and I knew he's been in the Austin area. Um, I just have some connections with him. I know what the workout is today. It's a CrossFit workout, but it's just the machines. Yeah, I think I think Lance is obviously going to do really well, but I think what's really impressive about him as an athlete, or what I've heard uh, at on it, is like the power output that he has in such a small body on a machine that's so good for bodies like mine. Just so you guys know, Lance Armstrong is a very controversial figure or was a very controversial figure. I've said it for seven years. I've said it for longer than seven years. I have never doped. Uh, you have never taken any performance enhancing drug in connection with your cycling career. Correct. Yes or no? Did you ever take banned substances to enhance your cycling performance? Yes. But needless to say, I think this is a pretty good opportunity. Um, to get my ass handed to me in a workout and also just have fun. I've heard he's a really cool dude. Uh, so yeah, let's go to the gym. Today's video is sponsored by Transparent Labs. Now there are some studies that talk about taking a scoop of protein before training or after training and which one's better. For me, I just like to do it before and after training so that I can cover my ground a little bit more with my protein intake. Now, I think the greatest thing about this minimum amount of ingredients here, grass-fed whey protein isolate, peanut flour, cocoa powder, natural chocolate flavor, sodium chloride, and stevia extract. Super basic. This flavor is chocolate peanut butter. I think it's incredible. What I'm actually gonna have as well right now is a scoop of pre-workout, because I'm about to go work out. I'm just gonna take one scoop of the uh, bulk pre-workout here. Two hundred milligrams caffeine, L-theanine, all the basic stuff. I love this brand. It is informed choice approved, meaning that if you compete in anything that's WADA or USADA tested, these are good to go. Uh, click the link in the description and use code Zach at checkout. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull up, five to eight, eight reps, whatever you have in you. Dumbbell bench press, the incline, incline dumbbell bench. And then eight to 12 reps, and then steer to steer to just kind of get that, those last kind of warmed up, not a sprint, all right? So I actually love this style of superset. Um, two bodybuilding style moving movements, and then like slightly above zone two uh, on any of the cardio machines. And you mix, you just mix it through. You're not doing a CrossFit pace because it's like bodybuilding, it's very isolation based. Uh, but mixing that with the cardio machine is super effective. I love it. Oh my. Doesn't know. Is it speaking? <laughs> Listen, hey, look. You don't need to worry. I'm here now. I'll 
I'll t how about you give me that? You get you get yourself home. <laughs> you could do with a. You need a rest. Yeah. This, this is my roommate, known for nothing other than being my roommate, not <laughs> anything else. <laughs> you look. I feel like this is look. Isn't that better? Hey, do you want to actually? Isn't that better? Do you want to meet fucking Lance Armstrong? Sure. We're, we're training with him do you right know now. Who that is? <laughs> Does do he I know, know who? Who the fuck's this guy? <laughs> who are you, dude? Jesus! <laughs> oh, I'm splitting up my pull-ups now. Is still fucking got it, bro. Holy shit. Just watching him move, dude. Takes him a little bit to it. Like, looking at him move. Tell him we're doing acid. He's like, okay, we're doing acid bath, right? You fucking asshole. <laughs> Same thing on the lap pull down, kind of lying there. Obviously, warming up that rower. Yeah, so. Three rounds, eight to 12, 12 to 15. Yeah, same, same deal. It's just a bodybuilding superset with a aerobic thing in, mixed in between. I think it's fucking super, super solid. Look at uh, poor Mosey Jr. over there. Hey, Rogan's understudy, dude. We get it. <laughs> you like your zone two cardio. He's warm now, so he like, he looks good. He's probably mid 50s or some shit. Yeah. Any tips on the bike erg? Just push. Last time I did it, I wanted to get off the bike so bad. I was like, <laughs> yeah. please. Yeah, my quads get, her, get me on the bike. I got on the bike, I was like, get me off this fucking bike. <laughs> it's terrible. All right, this is the acid bath right here. We're gonna go youngest to oldest. So I guess, you know, we surprised Lance with this acid bath. Going, 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 going. Huh? Everybody waits till the... Right. Yeah, so he goes first, he goes second. Okay, so you and, like, Yeah, they have to finish, so you got, we have scores so like, okay. Yeah. So oh, just, shit. Hey. So we got a 29 year old Aubrey? 33. 33, I'm 39, so you know. Lance is 52, 52 so. It's looking good, man. <laughs> looking good. <laughs> We can get your 500 here, I can switch it. Credit to the tour friend. <laughs> what is, hey, what does this guy know about biking? Oh, 510. Oh, wow. Five, ten. Time, time for the dad bod, you guys ready? <laughs> dad bod. 
Power, a lot of power in this belly. I got one or two abs. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, power. You think so much about form. Yeah. I just can't gas myself by on the right. He went too hard. Yeah, the beginning went too hard and then he started like falling. Yeah. so serious like we're all having fun but like he got on the skier just now to get ready to go or no the, the, the biker to ready, ready to go and he's like fucking checking it checking all his dials like guys 52 doesn't matter how far removed he is from competitive biking what he's doing right now it's the same fucking mindset all right let's, let's go let's get it let's go ahead and start Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Nice, nice, come on. Get to work. Come on, man. Come on, you got it, man. He wants this. Come on! 
Come on, lads, let's go! Come on, you got it, lads, you got it, you got it! Yeah! Go, 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 go. Bring it in, bring it home, bring it home. You got it, you got it. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. You guys got it. You got to sprint it out, sprint it out now. Go. Go, 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 go. Come on, Lance. Come on, come on, come on. Be quiet, be hard. Let's go, let's go. Time. Final 866. Woo! I think you're good. 0.2 seconds. Yeah. What do you know? Yeah, good job, man. So this workout titled the acid bath um, was kind of made famous by CrossFit, like I'd said, and it was first introduced like near the Dubai games. It was like a CrossFit event. And I think Roman Krennikov, Matt Fraser, my boy Brent Fikowski, they all did really well on it. Anyways, um, that first guy, Gus, he is a World High Rocks uh, competitor. So he was sneaky, okay? I didn't know that. So he got like a 5.0 something, a 5.10, or I, I don't know what he got. We'll, we'll check the stats on that. And then it was my turn. So my goal was to try and sprint at the end. That was my whole goal. I really, like, if I was training this more consistently, I would have just been more aggressive. I don't know what my time would have been, but uh, they all thought that I went too slow on the ski, but like, dude, when I finished that thing, I felt like I maybe could have gotten three to five seconds faster. Uh, but even then, I wouldn't have been close to Juan and then Lance, who ended up winning the whole thing. Look, it's surprising that Lance won the thing, but at the same time, it's not. Dude, I'm, I'm not kidding you. He's kind of like, try it was almost like he was trying to joke around and be one of the boys. But in the back of his mind, he was ready to fucking kill. And it's like, he's 52, you know what I mean? Like, he's long past his career. All of a sudden, it's his time to go, and he's adjusting the bike. You know, like he's fucking getting everything ready to go, and then as soon as the bell goes, he starts going hard. His pace on the, the ski was slower than mine. His pace on the rower was slower than mine, but his pace on the bike, obviously, was like 30 seconds faster than mine. And uh, he caught me and then passed me uh, by a good chunk. Um, I think he got a 508. So that was a ton of fun. You know, Lance is a good guy. Um, I think there's a lot of value to that introduction workout that we did just to kind of, it, it felt like we were doing a warm up, but also a workout at the same time. Pick two movements, pick a cardio uh, implement or run, and just kind of move through it at a decent pace, at like a zone two or even less pace. Do a couple rounds. It's not a CrossFit workout, but what it does is it kind of keeps your pacing and, and tempo in check as you go. It's a great way to introduce just a, a different stimulus while you're working out. And then obviously, go hard as fuck for your finisher. That's all I have for you guys today. I really appreciate you tuning in. Most of you motherfuckers aren't subscribed. So go and hit subscribe. Like, what are we doing? What do you think about that? Nico's bullshit, right? Yeah. So go hit subscribe and, you know, help me out. I love you guys. See you later.